Today on BRS TV, we have a quick how to on using Coral RX Coral Dip. Hi, I'm Ryan, your host of BRS TV, where each week we cover a new topic related to reefing. This week, we're going to show you how to dip your corals using Coral RX. When you get a new coral, you basically have three options, starting with throw it in the tank without any real thought to what else you might be adding, which really isn't very advisable. Second, you can also set up and maintain a quarantine system where you closely monitor any new additions for weeks or months before adding them to the tank, which is an ideal solution, but more work and expense than most people are willing to go through. Coral dip is a missing middle step, ultra affordable, easy to do, and capable of limiting the amount of pests added to the tank. All you need is some coral dip like the Coral RX and a container of some sort to do it in. I have some dip here, but one quick tip on the containers and tools. Whenever possible, avoid using items from your kitchen for reefing purposes. Not only do I want to keep soaps and other cleaners away from the tank and corals, but I also want to keep the tank away from kitchen utensils used to prepare food. Not to mention there are enough reasons why our spouses might not be super happy about our hobby. We don't need to add to that by putting tank water, corals, and dip in their mixing bowls. We stock both the standard version and a concentrated version called Coral RX Pro. Only real difference seems to be the Pro is more concentrated so you can use less. We're going to use a standard version which calls for four capfuls per gallon of water. This is a five quart mixing bowl and I'm going to fill it about four fifths of the way with salt water from the tank. Make sure it's from the tank so it's heated in the right salinity. Now add four capfuls of Coral RX and the corals are ready for dipping. The instructions tell you to add a small pump to the bowl, presumably to help get the pest to release from the coral. If you don't have a small pump, you can either swish them by hand or use a strainer like this to agitate the pest. It's also very common to use a baster and target blast the corals free of pests. Give each coral five to 10 minutes in the dip, give them another good blast, lift them out of the dip and they're ready for the tank. The directions suggest not reusing the same dip for multiple corals because the corals can release toxins. This really depends on the coral type, but for the most part, I really wouldn't want to use the same dip on different types or species of corals. The small amount of dip that's on the coral itself is perfectly fine to go into the tank, but I wouldn't want to add any of the actual dip to the tank for obvious reasons. On a side note, these oxo basters, bowls, strainers, and lock top containers we use for coral transport can all be found at most kitchen supply stores, but we also have them on our site if you find that more convenient. Just do a quick search for OXO. If you have any questions about dipping your corals or want to share your experience with other reefers, check out the comments area down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button because we release two new reefing videos every week. See you next week with another episode of BRS TV.